What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about John Jenkins. Uh, the Miami Dolphins just signed him. He is a defensive tackle. Most of you guys should be pretty familiar with him because he played for us in 2019. Um, and he's a pretty he's a pretty cool player. He's a guy that moves around quite a bit, does some 3-4 uh, defensive end things, um, does some 3-tech things, does nose tackle things. Um, so he's 6-3 and, you know, as... You guys should be familiar with him. He's 327 pounds. He's a pretty cool player. Uh, we signed him to a one-year deal. I do like the deal because it just adds more depth and really ensures that we don't have to get a, a nose tackle. We got another. We got a big dude to plug in the middle if we need to. But um, we'll get into a little bit of film on him. Uh, real quick, before we really get into it, let me just do this ahead of time so we don't have any issues. Um, he's number 90. He was 95 for us, I think. Probably get into some film with us, too. So this is the role I really want him to play, is just be no, just play nose. Uh, just eat up blocks. That, that, that's really all I really need him to do. Um, he's going to be a rotational player, and he was a rotational player for the Bears, too. Huh, nice. But that, that's that's really all I really need from him. Um, all right, so that's that's pretty good there. One thing I like is he's got his hands inside. He's keeping his eyes on the ball carrier. This is control. Um, and he's able to go make the tackle. It's a nice little signing. And it's a guy that we're our team's already pretty familiar with because like I said we have we have had him on the team before All right, let's take a look at that that's perfect right there he fights to get his hands inside he doesn't get it right away but as you can see, he's keeping his eyes in the backfield. This is control. He's not getting ahead of himself. He's waiting to see where the ball carrier is going to go. This is what I love in a nose tackle. And he's not don't don't get don't get it twisted. He's not like an insane player. Sorry about any background noise by the way. I'm trying to get this out as quick as possible. Um He's not like an amazing player, but he's a pretty solid nose tackle who can rotate in at other positions if needed. Um, just more consistency on what I'm talking about. Uh, hands decent. They could be a little bit more inside, but pretty decent there. Um, let's see what happens here. Hands inside. Yep. Showing power. And he actually moves pretty decently for his size too, which is why he can play some 3-4 uh, defensive end for you. Um, so let's keep going right here. All right, sorry about that. Let's, let's, uh, let's get into the next play. Right here. I shouldn't have to point him out. He's a big ass nose tackle. Showing some power there. Showing a little bit of bull rush. Very nice. Alright, let's let's take a look at him in a dolphins uniform. Um Let's see. Where 
Where are we at there? One second. Okay, let's go. Um, 95 right here. And I was right. He did wear 95 of this. I thought so. Um, so again, just demonstrating control there and disengaging. It, it, it's pretty consistent with him with what he does. He's not an amazing nose tackle by any means, but he's solid. This is all I need him to do. I need you to fill up gaps, control people, and make tackles when needed. That's all I really need you to do. He's not going to be a starter. He's pretty much going to come in on you know running downs. Um, he'll help against teams you know like Baltimore, Tennessee. I don't remember if we play them or not, but you know power run teams in general. Um, yeah, just more of the same. I like the signing though. I really do. I, I, I think this was a good idea, bringing him back. Um, this was a still kind of a need. He's a little bit bigger than any of the other nose tackles that we have at the moment, besides like um, Benito Jones, but I'm not a big fan of him. So I, I do like this signing. A guy that we can actually have play zero. We have some guys that play one, but not really people that should be playing zero. So... Yeah, I think you pretty much get the idea. He's a good player, um, but it's like not—it's nothing crazy. You—you you got if you're a Dolphins fan, you should be familiar with him. He, he played with us in 2019, had some pretty significant snaps for us. Um, I'm not expecting his stats to be anything crazy. I'm not expecting him to play all the time. Our D line is pretty solid, and for the most part, I still think we'll probably rotate uh, Raquan Davis and Christian Wilkins as our nose tackle. But on true running downs, I see us bringing him in to help and just kind of help plug up that middle. So, um, yeah, I do like the signing. It is a one-year deal. I love I, – I'm continuing to love what Chris Greer and Brian Flores are doing this offseason. I'm interested to see how it carries over into the draft. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you'd like to, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.